The community of Beaver has always supported Beaver schools, and it shows both academically and athletically. My name is Scott Kinsey. I'm superintendent at Beaver Public Schools. Uh, we have had an excellent history of uh, patron support in our last bond issues. When the Beaver School Board asks patrons to support a bond issue for improvements at the school, voters can be assured these improvements will benefit the overall community of Beaver. The school board has divided the needs of the school district into three questions, which will be brought before the voters on February 12th. Ever since I can remember, this community has supported its athletic programs and the entire school system in every way possible. And uh, we've really got a special situation here at Beaver that uh, our townspeople stand behind us and support us in whatever endeavors we want. Uh, and we're certainly proud of that tradition. When the Beaver School Board asks patrons to support a bond issue for improvements at the school, voters can be assured these improvements will benefit the overall community of Beaver. The school board has divided the needs of the school district into three questions, which will be brought before the voters on February 12th. Bonds to fund these needs will total $1,315,000. Question number one on the ballot will be the approval of bond funding to re-roof the auditorium, the field house area of the gymnasium building, and to refurbish the bleachers at the stadium. Significant roof leaks have caused considerable damage at the auditorium. Short-term roof repairs can no longer withstand the winds and the ceiling must be repaired or replaced in some areas. We've been up there, tried to patch several times. The patches hold for a little bit and then the wind comes up and pulls the patches off and, and uh, then we go back to where it was leaking before. At the gymnasium building, the flat roof over the field house is also in disrepair, causing damaging leaks. Uh, we'll be able to come in and re-roof those buildings without missing any use of the structures. Uh, it, it takes a short period of time to do the roofing projects. And once we finish the auditorium roof, uh, we'll, uh, we'll put in a, install a new ceiling to cover up all the damaged tile and uh, replace it. The board also plans to refurbish and upgrade the bleachers at the stadium. All wood walkboards, steps and ramps, as well as the seating will be replaced with aluminum walking surfaces and seating. The result will be a safer grandstand, which will withstand the region's harsh weather conditions. Costs to repair the roof at both buildings, repair or replace the auditorium ceiling, and to refurbish the stadium bleachers will total $455,000. Question two on the February ballot calls for funding to rebuild the running track. Currently, we've had it for about uh, 10, 12 years, and uh, just because of some foundation problems, it's really caused us to uh, have to put off hosting our own track meet, and, and we're not able to host uh, the regional track meet like we used to. So we're hoping that uh, we can get the support to uh, refurbish this and uh, bring it back to where it's something again that our kids will be proud of and uh, it'll help us maintain our program. Harsh weather has taken its toll on the track. Some of the running surface has delaminated, causing significant risk for runners. Edges are crumbling in some areas. It's been about 10 years since it was built. Uh, there were some bad soil conditions that weren't recognized when the original track was built. So, uh, because of the severe cracking of the track that goes all the way through the asphalt, we need to take up the track and uh, reinforce the base and then put a new track surface down. Uh, this is the only thing that will prevent further deterioration of the track and this will give a track that will last a much longer period of time. Reconstruction of the track will allow the district to host track and field tournaments and eliminate safety hazards to students. The cost to rebuild the running track will be $560,000. Question three proposes funding for new transportation. Due to wear and tear from many of the roads in the area, two new buses are needed for daily routes. 
The district would also like to purchase two new multi-passenger vehicles for student activities not requiring a bus, as well as a new pickup truck for the VOAG program. Repairs to existing vehicles will supplement the new purchases, ensuring student safety and reducing potential for breakdowns. And then we also try to replace our, our FFA uh, pickup for Mr. Lamley so that that program can, can uh, keep up its excellence that it has had for several years now too. Funding for repairs and new transportation will total $300,000. The school board has carefully studied the needs of the district and worked with the bonding company to find the most cost-effective way of making these repairs and purchases. By placing the projects on the ballot as three independent questions, the public has the opportunity to consider all proposed needs and vote accordingly. In putting together the construction estimate for Beaver Schools, uh, we've had to bear a couple things in mind. The uh, cost of construction materials continues to increase. The area of Northwest Oklahoma is seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of business in the oil and gas industry and therefore con construction contractors who might normally otherwise be interested in these kind of projects may or may not be this time. And so we're keeping that in mind as we develop the construction estimates for these projects. If all three questions are approved by voters, tax attributable to Beaver Schools will increase by 4.21 mills and taxpayers will experience an increase of approximately 6.85% in ad valorem taxes during the first five years of the bonding period. At the end of five years, the millage rate would return to today's current rate or possibly less for the remaining five years. Should all three questions pass the approval of the voters, for every $100 of ad valorem tax previously paid, voters could anticipate a $6.85 annual increase. For example, if you paid $100 in property tax last year, your taxes would increase to about $106.85 for a period of only five years. If your taxes last year were $1,000, the new property tax would amount to about $1,068.54 an annual increase of $68.54, or just $5.71 per month for a five-year period. At the end of the five-year period, the increase would drop off. We have had excellent support from our community. We all work together, whatever needs to be done uh, for our kids, and that's the reason that we're here. I've always been real proud of the way the patrons have supported the school and bond issues and, and supported all the activities. We have a great community and, and we hope uh, to get continued support out of our patrons. Support your community. Support Beaver Schools. Vote February 12th.